The triad football community is mourning the loss of former Page High and Clemson wide receiver DeAndre Overton. Good evening, I'm Sydney Moore. The Guilford County Sheriff's Office said the 26 year old was shot and killed at a house party in Greensboro overnight Saturday with the suspect still on the loose. As the tragic news traveled nationwide, people who knew Overton right here in Greensboro shared just how great of a person he was. W from Y News 2, Giselle Thomas talked to Overton's former high school football coach about the legacy he left behind. A man with heart on and off the field. That's how DeAndre Overton's former coach Kevin Gillespie remembers him. Gillespie coached football for 11 years at Page High School. He coached Overton in 2014 and 2015. Years, Gillespie says, he'll never forget. DeAndre Overton was a standout football player. He came in and just his presence. I mean, you know, he's 6'5", got that smile. Um, he had a way about him that people liked him, all kinds of people, different people. Former Page High School football coach Kevin Gillespie says he first met Overton in a weightlifting class and saw his drive for success. Gillespie encouraged him to try out for the football team in 2014, and the rest was history. He came out his junior year, uh, played, had success, uh, which led to him coming in, being highly recruited, senior year. Gillespie says Overton's character spoke for itself. He says Overton was a beast on the field and an honest player at heart. He competed because that's that's who he was. And I respect that. I, that stood out more than anything else. Watching watching him not only with my son, but the other kids, the way he interacted with them. Gillespie says the news of Overton's death is gut wrenching. 26 year old DeAndre Overton was shot and killed at a house party on Spring Mill Road early Saturday morning. Gillespie says gun violence has taken the lives of a few of his players over his 33 year coaching career. I think it might be the fourth or fifth one I've lost in all the years to, to something like that. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. A local gun violence awareness group, Gate City Coalition, works with families who have lost their loved ones to gun violence. After hearing about the sudden loss, program manager Ingram Bell says her group stands ready to help the family during this time of grieving. I know that we are willing to do anything that the community calls and needs us to do. Um, and we stand in solidarity with its family if that's just them calling us to show up, if they want to do a candlelight vigil and we show up for them and bring candles, whatever it is that we can do, we're willing to do. And the support for the family doesn't stop there. Coach Gillespie says many people have reached out to him to share the respect and love they have for Overton. I know Coach Sweeney and that staff had reached out to me and um, how much impact that their son made on people in just a short time. That says uh, what a special kid. The Guilford County Sheriff's Office says this is an ongoing homicide investigation and at this point is an isolated incident.